Hello and welcome to the product video of Insonic Disk Tools version 3 for Windows. Insonic Disk Tools is a program that reads and writes and formats proprietary Insonic disks and also manages disk images, file images, WAV files, standard MIDI files, and such exclusively for Insonic types of files. The program has been around since 1988. It's entering its 15th year of operations. There are thousands of people that have used it and owned it. And finally, we're making a product video for it so you can see some of the things that it does. Uh, we recently upgraded to the version 3 for the uh, OmniFlop replacement driver that was released a couple years ago that enables floppy drive access for Insonic proprietary floppies which are still extensively in service and it enables Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7 to read and write those disks. And Sonic Disk Tools is one of the only Windows programs that does that. In this video, we'd like to show you some of the things that Insonic Disk Tools does. Uh, there are five lists on screen that represent the different things that it supports. Uh, we'll go over, do an overview of those uh, to, for you, and then the individual videos will show you the, what the, each list does. It will go through each of the features, and also another video will show all the different things like the options, the different screens that it offers, and some of the ancillary functions. So let's go at it. The first list in question is the Insonic Devices list. And let's just open up a drive for you. Let's take the sample bank CD in the form of a virtual drive. And you can see all the folders in it and such. Uh, the Insonic Devices list shows you what's on a specific floppy drive or a SCSI drive or a virtual drive. Insonic Disk Tools can read any disk whether it's SCSI or not, you can put a zip disk that is in Sonic formatted in a USB zip drive, for example, and you can view the contents and read and write and format that. Uh, there are memory card readers that are available that some people have for their Insonics. It will deal with those as well. And it supports floppies with the OmniFlop driver that you have to install, but that's very easy. And also it supports virtual drives, which are images. So you can kind of see how all that is. The list on top of it is the Wave, AIFF, and Standard MIDI file list box. And within the folder that you see here, you can see all the MIDI files and the WAV files that are in that specific list. Right now, there's just one MIDI file in there. And you can see that. The two middle lists are the lists of Insonic disk images and Insonic file images. Uh, Insonic disk image is a EDE or an EDA or a GKH file and it represents a floppy disk image and that's only floppy disk image it's not a, a virtual drive hard disk or CD image uh, the you can see the different uh, disk images there and of course you can see the objects show up on in the instrument layers and wave samples list the instruments w layers wave samples list essentially shows you the contents of what you select in these two lists so you've got uh, an EDE there an EDA there, um, you've got an EDE, you can, again you can see all the contents that are in the, on these things. Uh, the file list box are file images, and a file image is the representation of an instrument, or a song, or a sequence, or a bank, or uh, even an operating system file. Uh, as you can see, the uh, instrument uh, wave layers and wave samples list shows you the contents of that as well. Like here's a uh, an instrument called Fun Time, and you can see all the layers in there. And you can see the contents. You can see the wave samples that are in there. Of course, they're all named the unnamed thing, as we're all used to. Um, so that's the five lists. Of course, you can see the. F if you select a wave sample and you uh, hit the space bar. you can hear the sound so you can audition it. Um, the buttons on the left here, you can refresh, you can access the Explorer, which we'll show you in a different video. Uh, you can see if there's an update for your program, there's the help file, there's options. We'll just take a look at those. These are the options for disk tools. Um, there's the about box where you have this construction guy that I don't know what his problem is, but 
K's there. Um, and then you have some support options. So you can go to a forum or talk to us via chat. We're usually there. You can email us or you can see product movies like the ones you're seeing right now. And then you can close the program if you're just sick and tired of the whole thing. So thank you for your time. Uh, we've got other videos that talk about the different lists in detail. Um, uh, the different options you can do with that, the right-click options, you can see there's a lot you can do. You can drag things between the lists, you can multi-select, you can do a whole bunch of things. So thanks for your time, have a good day, and thank you very much.